What's up my Moon Tribe? I'm Haley. Welcome back to Moon Tribe Tarot. This is going to be for the star sign of Leo from September 5th to the 10th of September 2020. Take what resonates and leave behind what does not. If you'd like to book a personal reading with me where your messages will 100% correlate to your story because they are for you in mind, you can find all the information how to reach me in a reading in the description box down below. If you like the content, the content that I make and would like to support me, please go smash the like and subscribe button. Without any further ado, I've already gone and pulled your cards off camera like always for you, Leo, so let's get right into it. We got the Two of Wands, the Hierophant, Major Arcana, and the Nine of Cups. So, let me just adjust this. So basically what this means is that we have a decision that needs to be making. There is a direct choice to be making. This is like coming to a, a, a fork in the road and having your choices. Now, neither of these choices are bad, and you can't possibly actually pick one that is bad for you, but it represents that there's a lot of options to be had here. It represents... Um, Picking, it's, it's basically the world is your oyster card. This is more a, of a positive read on this on this card than I think that other uh, other cards in other decks read the Two of Wands. But you, it represents partnerships and choices. It represents choosing something. It represents having a lot of options. It's like a pick a choose kind of card, but it's what direction you would like to go down. Now this directly came up for the Hierophant, and the Hierophant is a Taurus, but it also represents somebody that is, let's say, it's it's the tried and true methods and values in society in which we do things. So for example, you go to school, you get a job, you go to work, you marry a woman, um, you have a straight monogamous relationship with her, you get married, you have babies, you have dogs, you have a white picket fence, the end. Uh, it's that kind of energy. But it doesn't always have to be so like heavy, that energy just kind of represents partnerships. Um, it does represent doing something in the eye of society that would be deemed societally correct, so getting a relationship could be one of those things. And I think that you are picking and choosing, I think that, that sounds a little worse than what I want it to sound like, um, but I think that you have your options open on what you want to do with a potential relationship. And I think that whatever this is and whoever this is that you are deciding this on, because I do see this as a decision, I think that you are going to be looking elsewhere for help. And I, I mean like looking to a best friend for, hey, like I really want to do this thing, but maybe I'm a little bit scared. I've, you know, my, my track with, um, with boyfriends isn't really the best. Um, can you help me out? Because I really like this person. And I kind of see somebody stepping in being a mediator, but that's not so heavily. I think it's just stepping in together and choosing to do a partnership. There might be some sort of um, preemptive kind of, when I say work, I, I mean that there might be something or somebody that you go to in order to help give you advice. But I see it working out. I see the Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment. And this isn't just a wish fulfillment that you just obtain. It's not just wishing on a star and all of a sudden you just get what you want. It represents putting all the hard work into this to get what you want. Now what is it specifically that you want? Because I, I'm going to suggest that it is the uh, the relationship here the, with the Hierophant. Um, but what is it specifically, the Nine of Cups? What is this wish that's coming true? The Page of Swords does represent a person. I would like you to be careful because the Page of Swords is not a good card in this deck. He represents somebody that is gossipy. He's a judgmental kind of dick. He is um, not the best with his words. He is really, really good with his words, but he can be gaslighting. He is immature. He is young. Um, I... I I see that this is your wish fulfillment, is that you want this person in your life to have a relationship. I am just going to warn you that this person is prone to being a gossip. This person does not really see the truth for all that it is. He sees it in black and white. Um, just be careful about this person. Overall, I see this as a good spread, but I, I do think that maybe the choice here is, um, you know, do I want this because I know that he's problematic. If you are aware that he is problematic and he is not harming you, then it doesn't, it, that's your prerogative. But for me, seeing the Page of Swords gives me a little bit of a fright because this person isn't really very mature. Now that is a warning, it's not saying that this relationship can't work out, I'm just cautioning you that this person is kind of a dick a lot when he wants to be. If he doesn't get his way, he can throw a tantrum. He is that kind of energy. So I just want you to be careful with that energy. Other than that, I see this 
I see him in your life being a wish fulfillment. Um, so just be careful with that energy, but I do see it being a wish fulfillment for you. So I think that a relationship with you and this person is coming out. Um, take that with a grain of salt. Take that with caution. I love you, and I'll see you on the flip side, Leo. Peace out. Bye.